Push is kind of an interesting map because of all the official maps that were included with this game, I feel that the team aspect of it is actually kind of downplayed. Like, obviously, if you've never played Push, it's basically soccer. Like, I, I don't even really need to go much further than that. It's not quite that, but the basically the gist is you take... There's a ball in the center of the map. Someone t from one team touches it, and they're trying to get it to the other, uh, like the base of the other team, and vice versa. It's soccer. Um, the thing is, is that it doesn't really have the same level of like coordination between the classes that you'd expect from like you know an official map. Um, obviously, you got to work a bit together because you know a really uh, uncoordinated team is still going to do really bad compared to a really coordinated one. But the the, and some of the classes obviously have different, like, you know, uses here. Um, you know, obviously you still want, the, or, you know, particular uses, different uses is the wrong word. Obviously, you don't want the heavy weapons guy to be the runner. You want them to be more the defense, you know, stuff like that. So, it's there still, but um, without the engineer and spy who are actually not spawnable or pickable in this map, um, I feel a little bit of the team play is lost. I mean, there's, like, even... Like, you look at... A heavy weapons guy has a purpose still, but, like, you know, the sniper doesn't really have much of a purpose, even though you can still select sniper. Um, that being said, I, I'm not actually saying it's a bad map by, like, by the soul spiel, because it's actually um, uh, not really a favorite, but I've always been, like, you know, relatively fond of it whenever it should show up in server rotations. And it's, you know, it's, it's a decently popular map, not, like, you know, two fort level, but I remember playing this one quite a bit. I just feel that for the kind of um, team play that they Valve was encouraging with, like, you know, the official maps in this game, this one's a bit subdued. So, yeah, here you go. Like I said, here's the center of the map. You got the ball. And I, I do like that they actually went through the effort of making a soccer ball. Like, they didn't just make it a flag or something. They made it a literal so soccer ball. So, good for them. So, the, the, obviously, uh, symmetrical. We'll go red. So you got this little security thing here that the medic just showed where you could, you can, uh, this is how you get from the spawn point to like, uh, the field. Um, but the securities, the other team can't get through. So, you know, that's just a nice little way to like have a choice of where you want to spawn. Um, as you can see, there are, there's lasers, there's a red laser and on the other side, there's a blue laser. The moment you touch that as the opposite team, you're dead. This is an insta kill. But the obviously, if you're a part of this team, you can go through just fine. Gives a little bit of leeway to the uh, defending team to like you know get to the uh, center a little bit faster. Um, you got some supplies here plus some grenades. Though if you're the ball, the person with the ball, you might not want to step into here. Again, it's just an area to help with the defense. And uh, yeah, there's not actually any other like little side area on the other team, just the spawn area. And yeah, here you go. Here's the uh, capture area. Touch the uh, opposing team's um, symbol, and yeah, you score. That is the whole map. I really don't have much in the way of strategy to suggest because you know it's much, very much a like you know, uh, like frenzy kind of like you know map where you know everyone's kind of attacking. It's push for a reason. Um, you know, it's I don't know why the heavy weapons guy is taking the ball to his side, but you know I'm not one to question it. See that he got through just fine. Uh, yeah, don't do this. You, you have to go to the opposite team. But yeah, really good map. It's kind of like in a club. You know, sometimes clubs have cooldown areas with, like, you know, more like, you know, like, you know, kind of chill music playing. I feel this is like the, a cooldown equivalent of, like, a map where, like, your two forts and your dust bowls are, like, the main dance area. This is kind of like a little area you come to relax and just kind of, like, shoot stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we gotta have a soldier. You know, soldiers are still pretty... Not obviously it's fast, but you know, they could do some like, you know, kind of grunt work. Obviously you want to be leaving the uh, capturing of the, like, or the movement of the ball to the uh, medics and scouts and maybe even pyros. But you know, not, not the slower classes, but still they need to be there, like kind of clear in the field. You don't start with grenades in this map, I might add. In fact, that comment earlier, I have to check about, you know, there being, um... You know, grenade spawns in, like, the one side area may be incorrect. I don't remember all of a sudden. Mostly because I, I don't really find myself getting in there a whole lot. Let's find out if I don't die here. Well, thank you, Scout, for dying. Well, never mind. Well, that didn't go out well. Well, I'll just check in my own... My own base! Thank you very much! 
So let's just check that real quick. Nope. Okay. I, I don't know why I always thought that there was grenades in that one spot. Because I knew you don't spawn with grenades here. That would just make certain moments of this map just way insane. Or like, you know, this map way, way too uncoordinated. But I swear, I played this map before and like, you know, you could go to that side area and like grab like grenades and stuff. But that might have been a server side, like, a, a, like, you know, mod to the map or something. Obviously, if you know how to bunny jump and conk jump and all that, um, you know, you scout, like, you know, an expert player on this map could just whiz through before the other team even has a chance to, like, you know, like, kind of set up any sort of defense. Don't go this way, you absolute unit! What are you doing? I mean, I know you probably appreciate a challenge. Um, I guess we'll just sit here. But, you know, like, you gotta get going. We're about capturing, damn it. That's the only way you can ever win in soccer. Yeah, actually, Soldier's not a bad choice for, um, being the ball runner, too, even if they're kind of slow. Thankfully, they're armored, um, well enough that, you know, they could probably just tank a whole lot of stuff. But, obviously, uh, with the uncoordinated, if you're, the other team's really coordinated, you'll just be too slow. And, like, you know, too much of a target to really have a chance to get the ball over there. I mean, obviously, getting it over there as a scout or medic's gonna be hard. But they're just so much faster that, you know, unless you have really good aim, like, you know, there's actually much more of a chance to break through. See, that medic gets it, other medic. Why can't you be like that? You absolute charlatan. What do you want, Ian? You're a peeing. Oh. I mean, considering that they actually, like, you know, disabled some of the classes, I would have disabled the sniper, too. Not because, of, like, you know, I don't see the, like, you know, the tactical utility, because you can actually, they, they absolutely, like, you know, mess with people in the central area there. And, like, you know, like, try to keep the ball from being picked up. But, you know, I kind of, it kind of goes against the flow. Because every other class kind of has to move forward at some point. Or at least with the demo and heavy weapons guy, they're, like, the, the equivalent of the defensive players. And like an actual soccer game? So, I don't know. That's weird. Just a thought. It, I kind of... This this game mode re would really benefit from like, you know... Having Team Fortress 2's feature of like having like an outline... Of like, you know, the map's objective. Like through the walls and everything like that. If you've ever played that game. That would be definitely helpful. And well, actually really in every game mode here. I, again, I, I don't know if technology... I probably said this before in one of these like, you know... Half-Life or Gold Source, like, engine game videos before. That, you know, that'd be a really sick feature to have, but the technology just wasn't there. Obviously, you don't want to have your sniper being the one with the ball here, because things aren't going to go really well. Yeah. Can I get... I've, ca I've already captured this thing, or, like, you know, scored with this thing, like, three times. Can we go for four? Let's find out. I thought I had it there, and it was going to be a clean sweep, but, you know... Heavy weapons guys seem a little bit coordinated now. You know, really, the ball being an actual, like, soccer ball, or, like, the target of the map, or the objective, uh, if you will, of the map being a soccer ball, kind of really sells the point that, you know, the Team Fortress games were always goofy. Like, obviously, Team Fortress 2, like, you know, took it way farther and, like, you know, made it kind of, like, you know, its whole appeal to be something that shouldn't be taken too seriously. But even back with, like, you know, the more gritty look and, like, being, like, you know, using, reusing Half-Life assets and stuff. Like, this, these games have always been about the fun. You know. Like, even to Quake Team Fortress is goofy when you, like, would watch the, like, you know, little intro video there. I mean, you have your, like... Can I... Uh, where's the medic? Medic! Medic, excuse me! I'm in need of medical attention! Like, you know, it's obviously not supposed to be taken seriously. So, you know, it didn't... I'm not, It's not really any real point I'm making here. I'm just saying, like, you know... Team Fortress 2 is, like, kind of seen as, like, a radical change. For, like, you know, to, like, you know, the cartoony style. But really, the whole ethos of that comes from being this, like, you know, these games. Quake Team Fortress and Team Fortress Classic here not taking themselves seriously at all, either. That's always been part of the appeal. Alright, we gotta sneak around the heavy weapons, guys, if we want this. They've been putting up some good, like, you know, pretty good job so far. I'm not letting me get this fourth point here, but I think I might have broken through. Let us find out. 
I'm not even gonna deal with this one soldier, my doppelganger. I'd be so blue balled if the time ended right when I got on that. I mean, I set this for 10 minutes. It's not a map that you need to spend a whole lot of time on to really get the whole essence of it, the whole ethos. What are you looking at, Sonic? Oh my goodness! Let's see, can I get this epic number five goal? Let us. See. No, 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 I don't want your grenades. Did I just go in a circle? I swear I just circled around for a second. I made. Yep, I have made every single. Oh my goodness, I am the MVP. Oh, look at that timing. What did I just say? Anyway, yeah, push. Nice little appetizer map for. to get yourself ready for the entree maps.